the day in forest schools at Comfort Door, we're going to be building a natural den. Um, we're going to use an A-frame construction from the materials that we can find in the forest and we're going to be using a little bit of rope. So we're going to start off with two poles uh, that's roughly equal in length. We're going to lie them next to each other and we're going to lash the two of them together. And we're going to use this rope and my, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop the rope like so and then pass the loop over the first branch. Then I'm going to go underneath it again so you've got something that looks something like that. I'm going to do the same then with this side, lashing that the other way. Like so. And I'm just going to simply do an overhand, double overhand, just to hold it in place a minute. And I'm going to lift the two of the sticks up like so and create a V on the top. The reason I did the loop is because it, what it does is it enables them, the more pressure you put on them, the tighter the knot gets. So we've got a basic triangle. And then we're gonna get our main part of the frame then. Put it in between the two at a slight angle. Like so. Then I'm going to latch them using the same technique over the top of the centre bit and this should stop any movement. And again then double overhand knot just to tighten it up. Basically it means the more weight that you place on the knots the, the tighter they get. But just make sure that you don't have this section too wide because you don't want the weight pushing it down and the legs splaying out. I think this is pretty good. Now participants, what I'm going to ask you to do, this is my volunteers for today. So I'm going to ask my volunteers now if they would like to collect me some sticks, as many sticks as they can. But bear in mind that you want them to go up the sides of the ear. So what you're making basically is like a teepee. I'm going to stay with this and I'm going to hold this up just to ensure that it doesn't fall while you're building it and I don't want anybody to go inside until the place is, until it's, fin it's finished, okay? Right, so we've completed a natural den. Just going to give it a good shake now, make sure it's all secure. Yep, safe as houses. Right, and uh, birthday girl. Go and take a seat in here. We'll have a nice picture of you now in our oh, natural. We'll have a picture. We'll have a vlog. Make it a little bit taller because I'm quite tall. So you think next time they make one that's higher up? Yeah. What other things do you think about your den? That my team should come join me sitting down. Yeah, go team. Go team, ten, go team den. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could definitely do with the bigger one, couldn't you? I joined it, yeah. Let me move back a bit. I'm still right here. Uh, my Come in there then. <laughs> right, do you think that shelter's going to work if it's really, really wet? No. Uh, no. It needs like plastic over the top. Oh, can kind of plastic? It's got to be a natural den. So hey, what do you think? Hey, hey. Hey? Mm, that would work. <laughs> Any other ways you think you're going to improve it? Um, <laughs> leaves. Not leaves, like flat wood. Flat wood? <laughs> okay. Like that over there. Ah, right. Do you think that would help? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Give it a whirl next time. Well, thank you very much for your participation. And this will be the end of our video. So give us a wave. Bye. Bye. Oh, not bad if I say so myself. So I hope you enjoyed our video today about natural den building. And I just wanted to emphasize that before I brought my participants down into the forest area, I gave them the, the safety lessons and the safety demonstrations of moving large objects whilst building the den. I also explained to them that I would be in situ holding this den up until completion of it, because obviously you want to make sure it's safe and it's not going to fall on my participants. Okay, so um, they seem to enjoy the activity and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks. Bye.